I'm Penguins, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a miniature lava farm. So here it is. Um, so basically we've got a lava up here. Well, it's a lava source block, and so and then there's a block here, and then dripstone. So then since because of this setup, dripstone will now drip lava, and it'll drip the lava into these cauldrons, and these cauldrons will eventually fill up. Now this machine right here, as you can see, is constantly cycling buckets. So if there would be lava, lava in one of these cauldrons, and our inventory was full, and we um, grabbed the lava out of the cauldron, we would just our player automatically throws the lava bucket out, so it would get picked up and sent over here into this chest down here. So to get started, we want to grab um, a cauldron and go up to, and then make this little uh, square right here, and then move three of the corners, but keep one, and then grab a piston and move go out to and place it so it's facing this way and then like this you've got piston facing this way and then a piston facing that way and then a piston facing that way and then we want to grab our observer place one facing this way and one placing facing this way and then just place any block there and then repeat or set the two tick like that and then repeat that on this side so observer observer block Repeater with two ticks. Observer, observer, block, repeater with two ticks. And observer, observer, block, and then repeater with two ticks. And then if we go on and break this observer, and we place it back right where it goes, you'll see this will constantly cycle around. And we'll grab eight buckets of lava, eight dripstone, and then some blocks. I'm going to be using tinted glass because it looks nice, but uh, you can use pretty much any block. So then you want, so you want to make this box right here, and then place one block in the middle, popping out there, and then make a box going around on the outside, like so, and take lava and place it in each one of these squares, and then come to the bottom and place dripstone below each one of these, like so. Now eventually these cauldrons will fill up. So this is the main of the main part, but now we gotta put up and uh, create the system that will automatically refill our buckets. So then we're gonna grab a hopper and chests. We're gonna do two double chests for this farm. It's not an incredibly powerful farm, so we just wanna go like this down like this. So you see we've got two double chests, and then we can access them both from here. And then grab a hopper, place and break that block. Place one facing into this, one facing into this. And then one facing towards that hopper. And then we're going to grab a block. Any block will do. And we want to, and we're going to go ahead and make a little box here. And make it so that no monsters can get in. I'm going to need to grab a door. I'm going to be using a warped door. Um, and I'm, So you want to go ahead and place it like this. So it'll start like this. So when you go like, when you turn it like this, if you're in hard mode. Zombies will think this door is open since you originally placed it like this, and so they'll just try and walk through it instead of actually trying to break it down. So I'm going to make this look nice. You don't have to, but um, I'm going for style here. Now, right here, this block right here, if we place in a normal block, you'll see you can't open the chest. So we want to place in um, just regular glass. You can use tinted glass. It's up to you, but you'll see then uh, that way spiders won't be able to get in, and you can still open this chest. So there we go. Now we want to come over here door, place it like this, and then place a dropper right there facing this way. So we want to come around to this side, you want to place a dropper right there, a hopper facing this way, and then a dropper right there, and a hopper right there, and then you want to come this way, uh, break these blocks, place a hopper facing into that dropper, and a hopper facing into this hopper. And then we want to place in uh, a double chest right there. So then we want to grab another transparent block. You can use like uh, slabs or you can use glass, um, kind of like we did over here. And so like this. So then you want to grab an observer, go down four blocks, place an observer facing downwards right there, back up, and then place an observer facing upwards right there. And you want to grab um, redstone dust and place it looping around all the way over here. And then place a block right there, a solid block. 
I'm gonna grab a lever, place it right there, and when you flick, flick it like this, this will turn the bucket refill system off. When you flick it like this, it'll start it again. So I'm gonna grab as many buckets as you can and just fill up just with that. And these will get automatically put into the system. When you're ready to use your machine, you wanna have a bucket here and then take a 35 of any random item that's not a bucket and just spread this all out through, through all throughout your inventory. Grab your bucket. And turn this guy on, and then you want to come around to this side. You'll uh, see so you're automatically getting buckets here, and you want to hold down right click facing in this direction, and you want to click F3 and T, let go of right click, and then when this loading screen finishes, I am now automatically infinitely holding down right click. So whenever a cauldron pa pa passes by that has lava in it for me to grab, I will automatically grab it, and since my inventory is full, my player will just kind of throw it out, and it'll land in one of these hoppers, and pop over to this chest right over here. And then when you want to stop, automatically uh, right-click, and you just gotta right-click again. There we go, that is how you make a mini lava farm. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!